Hey, Drama, tell your granddaughter to put her seatbelt on. No. <laughs> it's on? I'm not even out of the driveway yet. Calm down. We're at one of the rental properties and I gotta do some touch-up work. Got some paint touch-ups and some a little bit of maintenance stuff that we've done in the house. It's also something back here. Yeah, it's right there. Unlock. So that spigot right there is leaking. And I need to figure out where to turn it off at. Well, other than that, it's actually one of the cleaner properties we've been in. There is paint. Is it the right paint though? Because, um, he was supposed to go and match it. And if you look at this wall at a certain angle, this one here, you can see that it shines. So it's the wrong, um, oh, sheen. Sheen. And so Neil said to be really careful if we're going to use that paint. Oh uh, yeah. Cause there's, I mean, this is sticky. It was like they had something there and it's like a, a, a adhesive. Yeah. And I want to scrape it off, but I don't want to, damage the wall when I scrape it oh. off. Oh, that's cool. No, it's fake. Gotcha. Never mind. Mm. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't have either of those. All right, I'm going to go on. So there is a weird sheen on this wall too. It's like they were painting this and didn't do too good a job. Baseboard touch-ups. This if we is have like time, a tan. If we have time and if we have the paint. Yeah. What happened to those baseboards down there? Don't lose that, please. So I don't know. It's like they just kind of fell off. I have no idea what this is for. It almost looks like they're trying to make a pull up bar. I want to say they're trying to make a pull up bar, but I wouldn't use it as a pull up bar. No. I need to get screwdrivers. Okay. Let's just pull it down. And we need a ladder. Because I don't want somebody to try to pull on that and get hurt. Yeah, I'll need. Not safe. I'll need. Tighten, tighten, tighten. A step stool to get up there. I guess there's paint cans I can stand on. No, right there's the paint cans. We'll grab a step stool and then your screwdrivers in the house. Okay. What do we do with it? I don't know. Trash it unless you want it for something. Scrap metal. It's just junk in my opinion. It's yours. Right. Okay, I'll take it. Neil's not going to care. I'm sure he'd even notice it. Do these signs. I'll just take them down. from Lowe's with some more tools that we needed. Got some faucets and stuff for the valve outside. That'd be probably the last thing I do here. First off, what I did was they had some adhesive on the wall right here. Just kind of scraped it off with the knife, but try to make it as even as possible for when I do touch up paint on that. And then you also see in spots where they do have caulk, but then they like stop and there's a gap. 
but I am pretty sure that there used to be carpet in this house. Well, there is carpet in here, here, and then they redid these floorings in here. One, because of the steps, but two, because when you come into here, you can really tell that the, oh, what is that called? The molding, how much farther down it is. So we get a re touch up the paint all the way around in these areas. As you can tell, they didn't even finish caulking areas either. Clean up areas, caulk areas. Then something we gotta take down in the garage is I'm guessing they had a pull up bar, but we're taking that down. Yeah, this is coming down speakers that they ran the wires in the attic and all the wires are coming in over here and just dangling here so i'm going to be taking those wires down also but there's a speaker up in that corner and a speaker in that corner still that they left so that's coming and those are the major things i am doing today in here is this gonna be filling up the cracks, doing a touch up paint, taking the, the pull, I'm guessing it was a pull up bar down, and the speakers, and then fixing the dripping, focus, 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 fixing the dripping pipes outside on the irrigation pipes. It's either I find out where the turnoff valve is on those, or I'm gonna get wet changing them out. So I'm gonna start getting to work and having fun with it. All right, so the caulking is done. I didn't record because, well, I didn't wanna get caulk all over my camera. But let me find the tool real quick. This guy, it's right here. It's one of my favorite tools. As you see, it has different numbers on them. And that's for the degree of angle. But you remember this living room area having a big gap in it. And as you can see, if my lighting was darker, there it is. You see, just, has now a good streamlined angle all the way across. And I used the number eight on that and just up against the wall. And it's made a nice smooth line all the way across. Filled in the gap, filled in the missing space. So it looks a lot better now. Uh, on to the next project in this house, which is the spigots outside. That's major number two. Yeah, Corbin just just ready to go. So let's go check a look on how much wet I can get out here. I'm pretty sure the shut off is all the way down in that hole, and I don't know where the tool is to undo that. It's somewhere mounted on the back of the house, but I'm pretty sure it's not here. It's not around there. I didn't see in the garage either. So let's get wet. Up. So here we are. Unfortunately, my camera got escorted back into the house. And with doing so, wasn't watching it and it stayed on. At that point, after it stayed on, 
battery died, lost the footage of what's going on. It's all good though. So this is me just bringing up what happened for the end of this video. So, unfortunately I decided to create myself an outdoor shower with the irrigation. I thought I could get it on, water pressure's way too high. No, don't get the water turned off when you are changing out those valves. So unfortunately that property ended up not having a irrigation turn off key. So I went over to the neighbor's house and got their long irrigation uh, turn off key to turn off the water. At first it wasn't working. Apparently they had stuck down one of the tops of a blender bottle down in the hole. There was also a golf ball in there. So as soon as those got removed, I was able to get the key to turn off the water. I was soaked. Wife was laughing, father-in-law was laughing, just ended up telling me that it's all fine, you needed a shower anyways, so thanks guys. And yeah, got the valves back on, both sides, brand new, stopped leaking. Just unfortunately, I did not get her on video and that's why we are here right now is because things happen but i just wanted to wrap up this video saying thanks for watching and tuning in and we'll see you in the next one